welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rebel. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and warn you now. The boys are very loud today. I don't know what's going on. I Maybe a full moon. I don't know, but they're being really loud. So you're going to hear some weird noises in the background. It's just going to be them. Also, too, the AC is cranking. Um, yeah, it's really hot outside. Um, I think we're being tested to see if we could go live in hell because it is hot. It is so hot outside. So I have not turned that off. I'm just going to talk even louder <laughs> so y'all can hear me. So if you don't like all those noises and stuff, I totally apologize. But this fat gal is not going to be sweating in her house. So we're keeping that thing on. <laughs> so yes, as the title states down below, I did buy me some Halloween stuff this year already. I know. It's August 1st. Hello. But... I went ahead and got this stuff because um, I know it'll go fast. I know there's a lot of us chicks out there that love Halloween or love holidays in general. I, I love holidays. But um, yeah, it goes fast. So with the seed and the stuff, I thought I'd better jump on it. And I'm going to start off first with Walmart. This was kind of, I think, a happy accident. Um, <laughs> so I am on a Facebook group um, called Halloween Forever. It's ran by... Um, Jade the Libra, she's a big YouTuber. She's a gothic YouTuber. She does a lot of ha hauls, ha ha or Halloween hauls, and Halloween all year in her house, basically. Um, I love watching her because, one, she's the one that tells me where stuff is, right? So she's doing all these uh, code orange, as she calls them, or code orange. Basically, she just shops around everywhere and shows you everything, all the shelves and stuff like that for Halloween. Um, but yeah, she's got this Facebook group, and anybody can join it. You go to her video, and the link's down below, and they let anybody in. So they're constantly posting stuff in the group, what they're finding in their areas and stuff like that. And one lady was on Walmart's website, and apparently Walmart had made a uh-oh <laughs> on their website. And, uh, yeah, you were able to buy, which is just socks, so don't get all crazy, but it's just Halloween socks, right? But... They were all a dollar. Like these are like 1980 scrunchy socks. I love them. I have been wishing they would come back out with these because I love wearing these in the winter time. They keep my feet and ankles warm. And they did for Halloween this year. So they had these are originally marked at the store for five. Is it five ninety seven or something like that? So on the website they had them marked at a dollar. And yeah, so everybody in the group's like, well, how do we do it? So I wound up, a lot of people were having issues, but I think it's because maybe their Walmarts were already out of the socks. My Walmart was still fully stocked because they just now started stocking uh, Halloween stuff. Uh, so I bought it online and I just picked it up at the pickup at the store. So yeah, I got all these socks for a dollar. So this is a pumpkin. And they're kind of off-colored, like, uh, what am I thinking, like the Heather look, you know, a Heather shirts, the gray is kind of splotchy. That's what these are like. So I got a, actually, I got two pumpkins because, don't tell my friends, but, or at least a friend, but she's going to be getting these for Christmas because she's a big Halloween person too, so I got her socks as well. This is the Heather gray I was talking about, so this is the ghosty. Two of those. Um because I keep it a pair for myself and give it a pair to her. This is like a heather green color with the witch hat. I only got one of those because I didn't really want one. And a gray candy corn. Now this is my pair because um, I like candy corn. The skull in that dark heather gray. There was two pairs of those. And the kitty cat, the black cat, in that dark gray as well. Two pairs of those. Also, they had these Jack Skellington's. These are just the no-show little socks. They were a dollar. Those are going to her. I like the movie, but I, I don't collect Jack Skellington stuff. I prefer just the basic Halloween kind of stuff. So this is a, a dollar. These are three pairs of the no-show socks. And this one says trick or treat. And this one has um, candy corn something. So it's candy corn. And then the other ones are just polka dotted. But yeah, I, I scored those. Like I said, some people, um, I think they fixed it today because it was just happening yesterday. Um, but I think it's fixed and people can't buy them anymore for a dollar. Like I said, I think it was a glitch on their website. And yeah, so 
I, like I said, took advantage. I got all those, so that way I'll be nice and warm through the winter with my feet. The place I went was Dollar Tree. I have been watching Dollar Tree um, hauls, or people going to Dollar Tree showing what they got. Um, and I've been noticing they've got a lot of cool stuff this year. For Dollar Tree, I was quite surprised. Um, but this thing here, it's, it's not Halloween related, but I thought I would show it anyways. I think it's it's like limited edition or um, maybe they discontinued it but it's the power stick I don't have my glasses so I gotta go way out here <laughs> it's the power stick uh, body spray this is the Brazilian mist so this is like the one that smells like was it pistachios and salted caramel so basically this is the dupe for the Sol de Janeiro one um, that really expensive spray which I have been wanting to try it so I think I would really, really like it because I love anything that's like sweet and smells like you can eat it kind of because, you know, fat chicks, we like food. Well, we like to smell it. Well, some of us love to smell like it. So, yeah, I grabbed these. I'll show you what it looks like. But it's been going pretty viral. A lot of people have been grabbing these. And some people will say that it smells just like the Sol de Janeiro and other people say it doesn't. I don't personally know. I've never smelled the Sol de Janeiro. I just can't get myself to buy, which I might now, because I really like the way these smell. So at first I thought it was deodorant, because the way it sprays, it sprays like the air deodorant, but it is just a just a body spray. Oh, it smells so good. Um, it's not as sweet smelling as I thought it would be, being it has the salted caramel. It has little notes of fruit, or like a florally scent, but then you get that kind of sweet smell. I will say, I I bought these, what, a couple days ago? Yeah, a couple days ago. They don't last very long on you. Um, and that was one of the things that people were griping about, that it doesn't last as long as the Sol de Janeiro one. So, but for $1.25, so yeah, I got four of them. And I figured this would just be an everyday, like a good spray, where I'm not using my, my perfume, my expensive perfumes and stuff. So just when I want a quick, I thought this would be really good for that. And it is um, 3.5 fluid ounces, so it's not small. I mean, for $1.25, it's a name brand from Dollar Tree. And like I said, I really like the way it smells. So, so I grabbed four. So if you're lucky, I think they have two my Dollar Tree only had this one. This is the one I wanted. The other one is supposed to be another Dol uh, Sol de whatever, but it's their floral scent, and I'm not into the floral scents that much. So, but there's supposed to be two of them. Like I said, mine only had this um, the sea salt pistachio one. Now we're going to get into the Halloween. So, like I said, I've there's been a few things on my watch list that I really want or my wish list, and I got three of them today. I was well. The other day but I have three of them and I didn't think I was gonna find them but we're gonna go to the I guess least boring stuff first so I got a couple of candles um, these are just a tall pillar candle and they have bats basically all this they were dollar 25 each but I have my antique uh, uranium candlesticks and I thought for Halloween these would be really cute all those candlesticks with the black lights and those uh, uranium glass glowing. So, unfortunately, these don't glow under the black light. I figured that the white would, but they don't. Um, but they did have a orange that was spider webbed, but I like the bats better. So, I went with the bats instead. And now, this is out of the, um, the plus section. So, this was $3. This is um, candy cord pom pom garland. Like I said, $3. It's seven feet. And I opened one up to see what they look like, so I'll show you that now. Of course, it would be all twisted, but so this is kind of it. <laughs> but it basically just has like candy cords and these like spotted pom poms and striped pom poms, and I thought that that would go really good because we do have a little tree up this year because my son did not want to take down the Christmas trees this year, so we compromised and left one up. So I thought this would be really cute on my tree and if you've seen my past Halloween decorations and all that, I do kind of have this circusy looking um, like Halloween stuff and it has like the stripes and the polka dots in it and stuff like that. So yeah, I got two of these for the tree. 
these are what I like. I've been having about. So basically, they are Joanna Parker. If you know, what jo know who Joanna Parker is, she does a lot of vintage style um, ceramics and, and plates and all that. And I love, love, love her Halloween stuff. She does that more circusy look just like this. So these are the cheap Joanna Parker knockoffs. And she has a ghost that looks just like this. But these were at Dollar Tree and they were only three bucks. So these are like a candy dish. Um, let me take the tape off and I'll show you. But these are like a hot item and I really did think that I'd be able to catch them. But yeah, it's just a candy jar. I probably won't use this candy jar, but yeah, isn't that not cute? And I use, I don't do ghosts. I usually do cats and jacks, but I couldn't turn him down. Like I said, he goes with the theme. So I'm like, I have to have him for three bucks. Joanna Parker, I do have some pieces of Joanna Parker that I got a Ross, but a lot of her stuff is very expensive, but also too, it's handmade, hand painted and all that. But I freaking love it. So the next one, they, they have three of them. The next one I got was the cat. Like I said, it has that circusy. I call it the circus themed Halloween. I don't know. It was something that they did a lot in the 50s where like the little characters wore the little pointy hats, like birthday hats. Um, and they did a lot of the stripes and the polka dots and stuff like that. So, and they do have like the collars. Like, like I said, it reminds me of a circus. So I got him, like I said, three dollars. I thought they were gonna be five dollars, especially as big as they are, because they're quite big for three dollars. I want to keep on, you know, knocking that home that they were only three dollars. And then the jack o' lantern. So that's what he looks like, but he has a top hat on instead of a. But yeah, I just I did not think I was going to get them. And when I went to my local Dollar Tree, they had just put out. Um, they don't have like a lot of the dollar twenty. Forgot his lid was off. They don't have a lot of the dollar twenty five stuff out yet. It's mostly they pack the uh, five or the plus area, the five dollar or three dollar area. It's full. It's full of stuff right now. And they had just done it that morning. That morning that I went, they had just put all this stuff out. I got the last jack and there were only two, two each left of the ghost and the cat. They already stole, sold out. She said they were already selling out of stuff that they had just stocked that morning for the Halloween stuff. One of the things I I have on my wish list. They did not have. They might have sold out already, but it's a giant candy cord, and it looks kind of metal in a way, but it's plastic. It's kind of like a blow mold, so it glows. I thought those would be cute around my tree since I have this candy cord garland, but like I said, they were out of it. Um, I don't know how big they are. If they were big, I was definitely going to get one because they are $5 because I've seen them on YouTube. Like I said, I can't gauge the bigness or the thickness and stuff of them when people are showing them. Um, so I wanted to see how big it was. And if it was substantial, I wanted a couple of them to put around my tree. They didn't have them. Um, and there was, there's another thing that I want. Oh, it's ornaments, but they are the dollar 25. And like I said, my store hasn't put out a dollar 25 Halloween stuff yet because they're still doing school stuff. So what's that school stuff, which should be done in a couple weeks because I think kids start going to school in a couple weeks. Um, they'll start putting out the cheaper Halloween and then hopefully I can find those ornaments. They were like little ghosts and bats and little um, jack-o'-lanterns. I think I thought that would be really cute on my tree. But yeah, so far this is all I got and really this is all I wanted. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff out there but I don't know. I just I try to be frugal with my money. Um, I haven't, as you can tell, I haven't done a whole lot of hauls this year. Who the hell can afford to haul right now? We can barely afford to eat. So, like I said, I'm not trying to buy a whole lot. Like I said, for three dollars, I would have got nine dollars total. Then we have like so. Anyways, just add to my collection. I did. I did make a haul to Timu. Um, I needed a couple of crafting items from Timu and. So I'm like, to get the free shipping, I might as well. So I did get some Halloween stuff from Timu. So I'm going to see, like, the quality of that Halloween stuff. We'll see what it's like. I will do a haul. You will see it. Trust me. But, yeah, this is pretty much it uh, for now. Um, 
this is really making me want to go ahead and decorate, even though it is October, or I wish it was October, since it's August. I really kind of want to go ahead and pull out my Halloween stuff and start decorating early. Because uh, usually we're already decorating Christmas by the time Halloween does get here. Because if you didn't know, my son loves Christmas. Absolutely loves it. So I, we try to do as early as we can. So that way he's got three or four months to enjoy it. Because he absolutely loves Christmas. But yeah, now that I've rambled on forever. That was my haul to Walmart and Dollar Tree. It was kind of rambly, I know. But you know how I like to talk. So anyways, um, comment down below. Like... I don't know. Let's just talk. Comment down below if you found anything you like for Halloween yet. If you bought anything for Halloween yet. If you're crazy like me and you already bought for Halloween. Um, but yeah. Just comment down below. Let us know. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys really soon. Love y'all. Bye. Whack myself in the nose. Anyways, bye.